Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into MEM 2.0 to do more of a review style video. I have done some impressions on the new MEM, but I think it is time to do a more review style uh, video. Uh, and that is because they are releasing their uh, pricing. So um, MEM pricing takes effect on October the 1st. Today, as of me filming, is September the 9th. Uh, so uh, a little under a month, actually, till uh, this pricing is out. It is currently still uh, free, so I am using everything here for free. But uh, MEM will have a free forever plan, which gives you 25 notes per month and 25 chat messages per month. So basically just... Uh, a way for you to try out the application but uh in like you could look at it this way if you take uh 25 notes for four months you will have a hundred notes and if you instead of like making new notes spend most of your time just adding into already existing notes this might actually uh be good enough for you but i think most people will end up with the mem pro which is twelve dollars per uh, month, uh, which gives you unlimited of everything. So unlimited notes, chat messages, deep searches, collections, templates, connected emails, and uh, unlimited API uh, keys. So basically unlimited of everything for $12 each month, which isn't too bad because that's where most of the pricing around these uh, AI applications are, most of them cost around $12. I'm currently paying $12.99 for my mind, which doesn't have a lot of the features that um, MEM has. Space Duck is $11.99. Tana is a little more expensive. I think it's $14 on the more expensive plan. Anyways, around the same pricing. So basically my point here is that a lot of the AI applications are around the same pricing. Even capacities is around 12, um, but it has regional pricing. So conversions might be different, but for me, it is around 1250. Uh, but uh, let's jump into the application and see whether or not it is worth it. So this is the web uh, version. One thing that still annoys me with this is that there isn't a dark mode, uh, which like it isn't necessarily a deal breaker for me. I know that it is a deal breaker for a lot of people, but it isn't for uh, me. I would love to have uh, a dark mode, but uh, I won't stop using the application because it doesn't have a dark mode. The second thing is that the only way to sign up for this application is through Google. And sometimes, just sometimes, I feel like I'm giving Google enough information as it is. Uh, and uh, I don't generally like uh, logging in uh, with Google on my main accounts. But again, not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, not a deal breaker at all, but just something that I know a lot of people care about, even though I personally have no major problems with it. I don't like it, but I will still use the application. So again, not a deal breaker. Uh, but what we are here to look at is how good is actually uh, the experience here. So um, I've talked about this before, the user interface has changed uh, and it looks in my opinion, better. Uh, I still like the first version of MEM a lot more before uh, all of the chat stuff, but I think I like this a lot better. So you can have uh, splits here. Let's go ahead and close this tab. Um, where do I find the chat? It is up in the right corner here. So this is the chat. This is like the most important thing in uh, Mem, here you can you, you can see your past chats. I mainly use this for YouTube videos, so that is where my chats are. I can resume the last chat. Uh, there is an experimental version and also a classic version. The classic one allows me to ask questions and draft content. Uh, the experimental one um, allows me to save, organize, and ask anything. Uh, so let's say I wanted to remember to uh, do task A tomorrow. Let's see if it can help me with this. 
Uh, one thing I found uh, with these uh, applications is that um, is that uh, they are a little slow uh, with the AI, so it did not work. Um, I will probably have to just write it differently. Uh, create a note uh, about my tasks for tomorrow and add it in there in there like this let's see if this works out so i can create a note for your tasks tomorrow what tasks should i add in add a task a b and c let's see how this works out it is still experimental but it actually works so it does tasks for September 10th, uh, 2025, and it does tasks A, uh, B, and C. Uh, and it also found some existing notes related to tasks, so tasks for today, tasks for tomorrow, and another task list there. So uh, the AI chat seems to be working as it is supposed to. It seems like I can also have like different... Uh, different oh i forgot what they uh what they're called uh but uh, basically i can have uh multiple notes up here um tabs that's what they're called i can have multiple tabs i've had a long day uh but it seems like i can have multiple tabs uh let's check out the integrations because um that was one of the things i really liked about them was this sms and whatsapp integration which isn't there yet, but it is coming soon. There is a Chrome extension and the web clipper I have touched on. It is supposed to be a agentic web clipper and uh, it looks really, really good. So that one is interesting. There is also an API and Zapier as well, as well as the email to mem, which allows you to create or edit notes from emails you forward to Mem, let's go ahead and close uh, some of these. Um, I'm wondering if I can split these and then drag this over here. It can, and uh, that is actually a really nice uh, feature that I'm able to like do this and drag, open one up, and let's open up another one and then drag that into here to see both of them at the same time. That is actually... Um, something i really do like one thing i would like if they added is the ability for me to just drag from right here uh that isn't currently possible i have to do it like this and then uh, drag it from here now this doesn't seem to work either it just worked uh so still a couple of things that they need to fix before uh before the um before the um, launch of the pricing plans but uh honestly again not the biggest issue because what i can do is that i can just open this up and just find the right note um can i search here that is also something i would probably uh like to see like being able to search without opening this up just searching with my notes in here because uh, going down and finding the exact note you're looking for might be a little hard um, when you have a bunch of notes. Like currently, it isn't a huge issue because I only have a few notes. But let's say you had a hundred notes and you had to scroll to, uh, that would quickly become an issue. I'm not going to demo the voice notes because that is just something I know uh, works uh, because uh, a lot of other applications have it. But basically what you can do is that you can talk out uh, your notes uh, instead of writing them. You can just talk them out and here you can see how it works. Um, I can pause it and I can also uh, press done. And web only transcribes what your microphone hears. Uh, to transcribe system audio, you can download the MEM desktop app. Basically, if you wanted to uh, transcribe a meeting, you would probably need to have the desktop app. But now you can see how uh, this actually works. I can press done. I ended up demoing it anyways. It starts processing. And while this is happening, I can actually see my notes here. And it uh, 
suggests edits. Uh, it gives it a title, key features, desktop app features, how it works. I can accept, I can reject, or I can refine. Let's just go ahead and accept that. Uh, so you can see that it does a good job here as well. Um, that is basically everything. The writing experience is still the same writing experience as, as you had previously. Um, here you can like get started with voice or use a template and you can create templates as well. Uh, but basically the general feel of the application is quite similar. It is just better and more polished. Uh, I like the chat being up here. Uh, I actually like the way the chat works, that you can actually create new notes with the chat, at least on the experimental version. Um, I uh, like that uh, it can bring up your tasks. That has been something uh, I've demoed earlier, and you saw it here as well, that it finds the necessary tasks. So I think that is also a really uh, good uh, feature. And generally, I think MEM has improved to the point uh, where uh, I think it justifies the $12 a month uh, pricing plan. There are two issues. Uh, one is no Android application, which is annoying for, 12, um, for $12 each month. I have an Android phone, so uh, that uh, is a problem for me personally. The second thing is like minor issues, uh, like lacking dark mode, only Google sign up, um, search button not being everywhere I wanted it to be, like minor things like that, uh, that I think they will keep improving, at least uh, the user interface stuff. I'm not sure if they will ever uh, get a, a dark mode because I feel like I've been waiting for it forever. Uh, but apart from that, like I think the application is really good if that is things you don't necessarily care too much about, like Google sign-in, dark mode, and small uh, UI uh, UX issues, uh, which I am sure they will continue to improve up on. And like every application will have some kind of bugs. Uh, that is just something you will need to accept when using digital tools. Uh, but uh, the dark mode, especially, I would like to see quite soon. Apart from that, I think like the overall experience has gotten a lot better. I think that covers it for today's video. I will do a more deep dive on how I would use MEM um, in a couple of weeks, probably right before the launch of the pricing plan. So if you want to... Uh, if you want to catch that video, please do subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you again quite soon.